Hi there, and welcome back to the Dreamkeeper channel. So today's talk is going to be about channeling. Uh, so channeling for me is like, uh, I suppose it could be like a, an artist, a musician, or uh, an inventor, and uh, they basically they, they draw something or create something, uh, make music or write a song or invent something. And they, they say that it didn't come fr from them, it came from like a higher source. So like they were channeling something like a higher power, a higher energy through them. And that led them to writing a song or making art or inventing. Invent uh, so I think that best describes uh, what, what happened to me. And what I'm going to describe here. So this was like... Uh, a good number of years ago, and uh, I had a lot going on in my life at the time, so I was quite stressed and anxious and wasn't sleeping great, so I was up like two, three, four in the morning, and I just had this certain urge just to like draw something, I had all these thoughts in my head, and so I was drawing things and thinking about it, and what it was was like a, a magnetic sphere, uh, inside another magnetic sphere and they were both either like positively charged or negatively charged so they would spin in opposite directions because it, it would uh, they would like repel each other yeah so like it was just it was quite strange like I've never thought about anything like that before or like I, I didn't know what it was about but I drew it and stuff and uh, like as the days and that went on you just kind of forget about it it was just like a strange experience and you just get on with your life and whatever uh, and it was it was like years a few years down the line I was watching a program that it must have been about World War 2 or something like that because it was about nuclear and uh, like uh, nuclear like splitting that on or, or whatever and uh what it was like that it was like they were doing like an experiment so on the table it had like a half a metal sphere and it had a metal sphere inside it another half metal sphere was above so like the outside one was split in two and it looked exactly like what I had drew kind of thing and uh, what it was when if the two halves of that the outside sphere touched it would set it would like set off the reaction Kind of thing, uh, and split the atom, obviously causing a big explosion. So the sci scientists were doing like experiment or, on it or that, and there was like an accident. So the other half was going to fall onto the other half, and one of the scientists, I think, either either grabbed it or put something in between, so it didn't touch, and it, it saved everybody in the the lab. Kind of thing, but because he had touched it, he ended up dying because I think it was like yeah, uranium it was made out of. So he got like uh, like uh, radiation poisoning. Uh, but it was quite it was quite strange because I was like, that's that's exactly what I drew. So like, I, did I draw like a nuclear device? So it, it sparked my interest back in it. So I was looking it up online. And uh, it was more talking about the magnetism, like what, what I had been thinking of. So, like, there was people on forums talking about it. I don't know if they were, like, physicists or scientists or whatever, but the what I could make up, uh, like, people had thought about it at least, which was, it was quite strange because, like, like, I'm not trained in science or physics or anything like that. So, but there was people talking about it and, uh, because chat GPT was a thing, then I typed it into that to see what it would say. And it was saying that it did sound like some kind of like energy device. And it said that it sounded really interesting and that I should try and do experiments on it and see if I could get it to work and stuff. But obviously, I, like, I'm not a scientist or I've not got any kind of, I've not got the knowledge or the any kind of stuff to be able to do that. Uh, so, but it still, it was really, it was basically saying that I've, I've designed or I may have 
I should say that, I may have designed a free energy device. So I was like, well, have I designed a free energy device at four o'clock in the morning? <laughs> like, because I couldn't sleep. It was just, it's strange. So the only thing I can think is I was channeling something through me. And that's what led to me drawing that and thinking about it. But for what I can make out, it is, there is a, something there. And the more I thought about it as well, I was thinking, is that what like the UFOs used to fly about? Because it's like creating a magnetic field, or if it's an energy device, could they be using something like that? And you always hear about them spinning round, like the orbs and stuff, they're always spinning round. And uh, then even thinking about it on a bigger scale, I've basically described like the Earth as well, because the Earth's got like a magnetic core and molten metal. Because that's the thing I was thinking about too, if it was two spheres, like a sphere inside a sphere, you would need some kind of liquid metal to separate them so they would be able to spin. And that's like what the earth is like with the molten metal core. It's magnetic and hit spins, right? hit spin. So to me it definitely sounds like something that's plausible and there's some, something there. And I would be really interested to see like if anybody comes across this video that's a scientist or or a like trained in physics or something that could kind of validate it or dismiss it or it, no like tell me if anybody's like truly tried it or if it's just too difficult to achieve just through like a technological where we are technologically right now or if the theory's plausible or, or whatever it's there's definitely something to it, like, and it is, like, if you imagine if that worked and it created free energy, then that would, that would be amazing kind of thing, and it's pretty simple because it's just magnet, like, mag magnets, like, magnetic. There's no kind of, you don't need to plug it in, or there's no kind of external energy source you need to, to thing it up, you just need magnetically charged spheres and some kind of liquid metal uh, so again interesting and, and let's say if, if you come across the video and uh, like you know anything about it just like leave it leaves like a comment and uh, we could start like a wee discussion even like i say you can validate it or dismiss it or whatever let's say i'm not a scientist or anything but it would just be interesting to see what other people think uh, and it's just even interesting, like somebody like me designing like something like that, either like a nuclear kind of thing or a, f a free energy device at four o'clock in the morning. It's just oh, strange, quite strange. That's how I, I can only think I was channeling something. Uh, but th that's, that's that for today. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.